Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So, I, I guess that's it. So, I guess we should just get to it, yeah? <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hey, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Let's do it, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Capricorn for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Capricorn. So I'm seeing yellow for you, but it's like, it's almost like a taxi cab yellow. And what I'm getting here is that you might be very driven. This could be in work. Most likely is what I'm getting. It's in work. But it looks like a taxi cab yellow, kind of because it's starting to become a little bit stale. I feel like some of you Capricorns might need to ease up on how much you're working. I feel like you might be overworking yourselves a little bit. Like, it's not bad yet, but it's starting to, it's starting to get there a little bit. And yeah, the universe is saying, ease up on work a little bit. You don't have to work so hard all the time, <laughs> okay? Capricorn. All right. Yeah, and now I'm seeing red. Um, red is the root chakra. Some of you might be having trouble with stability right now. You might be feeling a little bit unstable, insecure, um, whether that be emotionally, financially, physically. And it's something that's coming up that needs to be purged, okay, and healed. All right, Capricorn, one more shuffle for you. Excellent. Let's get into it. Boop. All right, Cap. Cappy Cap Cap, what we got for you? Starting you off with the Four of Cups. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So some of you may have offered something to someone and it's been kind of rejected. Either it's been flat out rejected or someone's kind of hesitant to really accept the offer. Someone's taking their sweet, sweet ass time and trying to figure out whether they're going to accept the offer or not. But others of you, and for the most part, for others of you, you're working so hard that, that you don't have time to accept an offer from someone. I'm getting, I am hearing unrequited love here, okay? 
And I really don't feel, and it's and it's not even for the most. Some of you are just not interested, and that is a okay. But what I'm getting here for a lot of you is that it's not even like you you don't want to accept the offer. It's just for some reason you feel like you can't. I, there are some issues with inadequacy here, and I think that's what I was seeing with the red from the root chakra. It's insecurity. So there's some sort of insecurity here. You've got the two of wands. Yeah. Look at this. You've got the ace of pentacles. There's that offer. Someone's trying to offer you. And it's and it's not, it's something solid. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And you've got temperance here. Okay. So I'm having an aha moment now because I'm starting to see something a little clearer. Some of you are afraid of this offer with the Ace of Pentacles because it's something you actually really, really want for most of you. Okay? And you've got the Two of Wands here, so there's definitely a decision that needs to be made. You might be needing to decide between two people, potentially, but also there is a decision here about what it is you want to pursue. What it is you want to hold on to. You've got the world in your hands. So you're trying to figure out what it is to do with that world. What do you do with this? And you're being offered something very, very solid and stable. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is a brand new beginning in a, in a physical way. I was going to say financial. It could be a financial situation. This could be a job offering. Okay? It could also be a relationship. Now, the saving grace for you here, Capricorn, is temperance. Okay? You don't have to make, respond right away. And also, you don't have to be so afraid. The universe has your back here. There's patience that's needed. Okay? So while you don't necessarily need to respond right away, also, I, I would hesitate. I would hesitate against taking too much time. If you're looking for a rope, if you're if this is about romance for you, you might want to wait until maybe Venus comes out of retrograde. Venus goes direct, which is going to be November sixth, around the fifteenth or sixteenth of November, I believe. Uh, Temperance also is Sagittarius, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, patience, though. Also, to anyone that is trying to make an offer to a Capricorn, you might need to have a little bit of patience too, okay? I do, I'm really getting some sort of insecurities are here, which is helping to keep someone from accepting an offer, okay? First set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month, you've got the Nine of Wands, perseverance but guardedness. This to me is a, is the depiction of those insecurities that's, that are coming up. Someone is very guarded, but also someone is persevering. Whether that be the person that's trying to make the offer or not, the person that is feeling insecure. The Nine of Wands is coupled with, okay, yeah, the Seven of Swords. So someone is very guarded because of deceit and lies and deception, and, I, and most likely from the past. It could be from a previous relationship. It could just be from past individuals, past um, relationships, whatever. Also, I'm getting an energy of someone being very secretive about how they truly feel, potentially. The Seven of Swords. They've got their guard up, and someone might be throwing smoke and mirrors because of some sort of insecurity. All right. Second set of surrounding energies, you've got the Queen of Swords. Yeah, very decisive. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius. Um, but someone is very cutting here. It could be it could be detrimental. Someone is cutting, is too cutting, um, is trying to cut someone out that actually is just wants to be there for them. Someone is also, but also in this defensive energy, someone is like, I'm not taking any shit. So don't come at me wrong or you're going to get, you're going to get sliced open. <laughs> someone really has their guard up right now. 
and I don't, I don't necessarily think it's such a bad thing because we have this seven of swords here. There was deception in the past. Okay. Queen of swords is coupled with the chariot. My, my, my. There is a definitely a defensive energy here. And I'm, I'm seeing that in the queen of swords. You could be dealing with a cancer. Now cancer, keep in mind guys, cancer is your opposite sign. Okay. So, and it's funny, I wanted to mention this in the beginning of the reading, but now it's coming out, so I'll say it. I have a friend who is a Cancer sun sign in Eastern astrology. And we were hanging out one day and I was looking at him and this was before I knew like what his sign was. Um, and I was just looking at him, observing his energy. And I was like, why am I getting so much Capricorn energy from him right now? And... I later on I looked up his birthday and I looked him up um he's a Leo in western astrology but in eastern astrology he's a Cancer and I was like okay well what's the opposite of Cancer Capricorn aha that's interesting and I, this was after I had already come to a realization that um or I had, I had learned that we often we often ab uh, absorb the energies of our opposite sign. So me being in an Aries in Eastern astrology, an Aries sun, I often absorb or take on Libra energy. And then as a, as a Taurus sun in Western astrology, I sometimes can slip into that doom and gloom, destructive death Scorpio-like energy. So I find it interesting that the can that the Cancer card is coming out here, but the other thing that this is saying with the Queen of Swords and and the Chariot is someone is really guarded against moving too quickly. I feel like they might want to themselves, but they're not letting on to it, and they're and they're 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 strictly business right now, very very disciplined. Like no, you cannot move this fast with me right now. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Again, they're coming out of some sort of deceptive energy from the past, okay? They're very guarded about something, all right? It could have been an abusive late relationship in the past. They could have just come out of a relationship that may not have ended so well. Um, they could be, especially with the two of wands here, someone could need to choose between two people that they feel pretty passionate about. So with this swords energy, this queen of swords and the chariot, someone might be making moves to cut something out to move forward in a very quick way. Okay? The challenge for the first half of the month, the six of cups, you see, this is a soulmate connection, potentially. But also it's dealing with the past with the six of cups. Six of cups is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. My, my, my. Look at that. Two sixes here. All right. So we have an energy of the past. Something happened in the past that was not good, was not balanced. The challenge could also be someone giving, still giving to past situations, past circumstances. And that would be a challenge for whatever new is trying to rush in. Yeah, of course. Overcoming that. Either overcoming, giving, continuing to give to the past or overcoming the imbalance from the past. Okay. The challenge could also be that you're dealing with a new soul, with a soulmate, and you've got to balance the give and take in that relationship. The potential outcome for the first half of the month, you've got, hey, look at that, the Eight of Wands, communication, swift movement. This is that energy that echoes the swift movement of the chariot here. Yeah? Could also be, the Eight of Wands could also be sometimes be seen as Cupid's arrow, which is something that I just heard. Marksmanship, setting a destination and going after it with um, precision. Eight of Wands is coupled with the Four of Swords. Very interesting. 
isn't that contradictory? You've got the Eight of Wands, but you've got the Four of Swords. Now, what I really, what I'm feeling, what this is saying here is someone is contemplating making a move and communicating. It could be opening up more, communicating more, or allowing this chariot energy to take hold, okay? All right, Capricorn. For the second half of your month, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but this is introspection here. Definitely underneath the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Swords, there is a lot of deep soul searching happening here. Healing and allowing the, your, someone's inner light to shine again after whatever this situation they've, you or someone else has come out of, okay? The Hermit is coupled with the Ace of Swords. Yep. Deeper understanding about yourself, about the situation at hand, um, uh, potentially about the situation that's coming in, that's I'm hearing rushing in, um, understanding how to handle it, understanding what it is to you, understanding what you want from it. Do you actually want to give to this situation? Is this a situation that would be beneficial for you? Is this a situation that's just going to be a recreation of what you come out with, what you came out of in the past that left you feeling battered and bruised with the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Swords? This is that aha moment, the understanding of it on a deeper level, okay? And also I'm seeing cutting away all of the shit that keeps you from shining your light too, yeah? Second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month, reconciliation potentially, the Three of Cups. It's a celebration also. Three of Cups is coupled with the Page of Cups. My, my, my. So maybe someone comes forward with a real, with a, with an apology. But I'm seeing it could it could potentially be, potentially be the start of a brand new relationship with the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups, a union of sorts, something that's really joyous. Maybe even potentially something that you know our mutual friend circle is very enthusiastic about. It's entirely possible. We are in November. This could be talking about Thanksgiving. Reconciliation of sorts. The Page of Swords, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups could be an apology, a peace offering, an olive branch extension. Your challenge for the second half of the month, the moon. Pisces energy. The moon is also the ruler of cancer, which is your op opposite sign. That is so funny. <laughs> the moon is coupled with, ah, the seven of pentacles. So your challenge is some sort of harvest coming in, but not necessarily being able to see it. Hmm. There's another message in here that I'm, it's a little convoluted, trying to, trying to decipher it. It's like, The fruits of your labor, the fruits of this harvest, this harvest are shrouded in mystery. You may not know exactly where things are going, how things are gonna turn out. Now, Capricorn, that could be your controlling nature coming through. You really could have a new start to a relationship, a, a, a relationship, you know, starting off, but because you're not aware or you're not fully sure of where the situation could be going, that could be a challenge for you. You don't need to know, says the universe. Just go with the flow, okay? Your potential outcome for the second half of the month, you got judgment, reconciliation, starting over. Hitting the reset button. Judgment is coupled with the Ace of Wands. Ooh. So in terms of reconciliation, 
there could be a brand new fire that's sparked between you and a potential partner. This is um, uh, um, resurrection and having a creative inspiration towards something. You've got new start. You've got potential new start in situation here. You got three of them. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. The only thing you don't have is the Ace of Cups. But I guess you kind of do, because you have it in. Um, you kind of have it here in the Page of Cups, and you do kind of have it here in the Four of Cups, because you see that hand is coming out of the clouds and hand, and offering that Ace of Cups. Now look at this. Looky here. You've got, I'm looking at this page of cups with the three of cups here, and I'm seeing someone offering a cup of love, right? And it's an innocent, it's brand new, it's just started, it's fresh out, it's, you know, it's fresh. And here you go, there's that offering with the ace of cups that's here in the page of cups, and then the three of cups that's down here. Are you, you, you guys, you see that? You see that? Ace of cups that's here in the page of cups, and the three of cups right there. Very interesting. Passionate new start, passionate beginning. There could be some real sexual chemistry between you and someone. My, my. Okay. Cool. Let's get into your oracle guidance here for the month of November from the A Unicorns. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Best messages for Capricorn for the month of November, please, unicorns and spirit. Best messages, best message for Capricorn for the month of November, Capricorn. Woo! This one too. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. Okay, and that's absolutely what is being said here with the Hermit and the Ace of Swords. Be conscious of your thoughts. Be conscious of yourself. Okay, the first card here you have is Patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you waste. Uh, not waste, whilst you wait. And look at that, guys. You've got the official Patience card here with Temperance. So like I said, either you Capricorn or so whoever is absorbing the Capricorn energy right now, you may need to be patient with yourself. And if someone is trying to connect with a Capricorn or connect with someone that's absorbing the Capricorn energy right now, you need to have patience with them as well, okay? Try to keep it light and fun. And then we have gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness and speak words of love. All right, guys? So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in, Capricorn. I wish you guys the best. Have a great November. Um, happy Thanksgiving to you. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again for the month of November. I'm sorry, not November. December. There we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care, guys. Much love. Bye.